Hi, it's Rich Rosen. I'm the CEO and founder of FastCall, and I'm going to give you a demo of our five-star rated Salesforce native phone application found in the App Exchange. So Salesforce is a native application. The entire application is installed in Salesforce. 100% of the application is running in Salesforce. That is a significant advantage, and it is our number one differentiator over other applications in this category. Uh, FastCall only works in Salesforce. You are a Salesforce subscriber, so that is a benefit for you. Uh, it also means that we are only thinking about Salesforce, uh, an application that is standalone and that's working across multiple platforms, uh, really has to be able to work on its own and have to work across different platforms. FastCall is only working in Salesforce, so we only think about Salesforce. This application is really truly built from the inside of Salesforce out, and we think that shows. Uh, it shows in our almost 65 star reviews uh, and shows in the type of integration and performance that you will see in our application. Uh, so let me get started. You'll see that the application is here, it is in your Salesforce sidebar. FastCall is an open CTI application. That should be very important to you. Uh, open CTI is Salesforce technology. Uh, you'll notice that my phone numbers have a little phone icon next to them, so I can uh, click on the phone number and the application is going to uh, start capturing call duration. Um, I have the ability to set the subject. In this particular case, I have a couple of task pick lists that I've added to our widget. You have the option of whether or not you want to see any task pick lists, or if you do have any pick lists on task, you can automatically add those to the widget. So for example, this one says call focus. It's actually an example that we give you in the package. You can say upsell. Uh, that's optional. You can remove that if you like. This is the subject. Here are my notes. I just say notes. Uh, I'm capturing the call duration. I use call result and the call and I can pop in here and I'm going to say spoke to the decision maker. A fast call is creating a task and act on your activity history related list. This is a related list uh, and we're doing so in real time. So there it is there. Um, and we're doing that without refreshing the page. A native application can log a call, can create a task in real time without using the Salesforce API. And that also should be very important. A non-native application is using the Salesforce API to update Salesforce. FastCall is native, so we are not using the Salesforce API. That enables us to be uh, much quicker, much more efficient in our ability to create a task in Salesforce. So as you know, Activity History, of course, is native. So we're giving you subject. Uh, the uh, last modified date and time, of course, is native in Salesforce. Uh, your call duration in minutes is a custom field. We're giving you the number that you've called from. Your call result, optionally, there's call recording, your call notes. Um, if your calls are recorded, you would see a URL here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so that is your native Salesforce activity history. And we've got a couple of custom fields that we put on activity history. Our custom object is called call score. And call score for us is an Apex job, so it is something that runs in the background. Um, and, and our call score is giving you average call duration, total call duration. If you're using our call goal, which is awesome, uh, you can say, um, I want to make seven calls over seven weeks, and we'll help you count that, and that is per record. Um, so you know, first call of seven, second call of seven, and if you meet that goal, we'll tell you that you met the goal. If you don't meet the goal, which essentially uh, seven weeks goes by and you didn't make your seven calls, we'll tell you that. Uh, it's a great way to help track progress. Um, we give you things like, Day since first call, day since last call, day since last presentation. If time-sensitive response is important to you, and it should be, uh, we do actually give you minutes until first call uh, from lead creation. So lots of great information. Uh, and all this is a custom object with custom fields. You can add this to your Salesforce reports and to your Salesforce dashboards. Uh, and the idea is that you pick and choose the fields that make most sense for you. So for example, if you, obviously, if you're not using the call goal, you don't need to use it, you don't need to show it, you don't even need to set it up. So it's, it's all here for you to pick and choose which particular fields make most sense for you. So there is uh, your activities, your call scores. Uh, again, in the application. Uh, back in the widget, you'll see that the, that particular call I used using our what we call our base call logger. So that particular call, I logged the call but did not actually dial. I'm um, capturing call duration. I'm setting my call result. I'll do it again here. I uh, spoke to the gatekeeper. Uh, boom, done. Uh, again, lead does not refresh at all. The the the, the record is is instantly created. Um, that is 
um, incredibly efficient. So uh, we give you a couple of options for phones. So I could also use the soft phone. So when I'm using the soft phone, I'm using Twilio to make the telco connection for us. And that really is the second major differentiator in our application in that we use Twilio for the telecom. Uh, we're not bundling in or marking up the telecom in the application. We're using uh, an OAuth connection into Twilio, which we think is a much more modern way to deliver our application. The soft phone uh, is entirely in the browser. You're plugging in a good noise canceling headset into your computer and you're off and running. So the soft phone uses no phone hardware. The soft phone is not using your existing phone or, or if you don't have an existing phone, you don't need an existing phone. So it's a soft phone. Soft phone is great for uh, new offices, the, the expansion offices, overseas offices, just new employees, any instance where you don't have a phone or you just don't want a phone. It's entirely in Salesforce, entirely in the browser. Uh, awesome option. Uh, you can use an existing phone. You pick your office phone here uh, and you pick your phone in the application. That could be your office phone, uh, could actually be your mobile phone, uh, could be a conference room, a hoteling, uh, maybe you're in another office. You set your phone in the application uh, and then we'll dial you on that phone. Caller ID is set independently. Um, so for example, I have the mobile phone here. I could actually show the, the office number. So this is a, a sort of another common use case. You know, I'm actually going to be on my mobile phone, but I want to show my office number. Um, and, and, or, or that could go the other way around. You know what? I'm actually on the soft phone, um, but I want to, um, I want to show my, um, mobile number as the caller ID. You can do that. So you do that here. Uh, we'll dial any phone number on any Salesforce record. If there was an extension on this field, uh, I would dial the extension. Uh, I'll pop over to a record that has one. Um, if there's an extension on the field, we will dial the extension automatically. Any phone number on any Salesforce record, if it's a custom object and um, that custom object has activities added. We'll create an activity. If there's no activities added, we don't. Uh, we don't create the lookup. The activities, the task is always created for a call. Um, if there is an activity lookup on the custom object, we will uh, we'll attach that call. We do also have the ability to attach. You'll see here there's an extension. Uh, we have the ability to attach an opportunity when you're calling on a contact uh, that has an account with an opportunity. So I can pick the opportunity here. I can select it. And then the uh, call will be logged on the opportunity as well. Uh, awesome, quick, fast, efficient. You see how easy it is to do that. Um, we have our, uh, you pick your phones, you pick your caller ID. Uh, you also can, if you just need to make a quick call right from the widget, you can do that here. This is a list of all of our recent calls. Our recent inbound calls are here. And if there's a voicemail, you'd see that here. So I can listen to the voicemail right from our widget. I can view the task. I can search other records uh, for this inbound call. Uh, or I could just quickly call this record back. I see all of our outbound calls here, same thing. If I just wanted to quickly call this record back, I can do that here. Uh, the settings for the application are here, super easy. Um, I can turn call recording on or off, and we give you a lot of control around call recording. Uh, that's an important feature, very popular feature for our application, so we do give you a lot of control around uh, your call recording options. The user can set her caller ID, she can pick her phone, she can set up inbound. Uh, the inbound part of the application is optional. We do have many subscribers who only use our application for outbound, but inbound is awesome. Um, we log and score your inbound calls. We capture your uh, voicemail. We do have missed call notification. Uh, inbound is an awesome part of our application, uh, though it is optional. You can use our application without inbound. Uh, and speaking of which, there's an inbound call. So you'll see it on the inbound call, um, the caller ID, the city, the state. Uh, I can answer this, but in this case, I'll just uh, I'll pop this right into voicemail. Uh, in this particular case, I'm setting the call in the voicemail. We give you a couple of different options for inbound. Um, we have overflow, which will ring from one phone to the next. So in that particular case, the call came in on the soft phone. Um, I could, by actually by declining that call, I actually can send it to my voicemail or I can send it to my mobile phone. I can send it to my office if I have overflow set up. Um, I can also set up simul rings, so it rings both the soft phone and mobile at the same time, soft phone in the office main time, or some combination of both. Uh, totally awesome, totally cool. Logs and scores the call. In, in Salesforce, so the, a, a call record. Uh, and again, if I popped into my recent calls here, I'll see that recent call and I can go right to the, uh, right to the record or to the task. So inbound routing, outbound routing. Uh, we also have uh, for inbound, we do have uh, auto call distribution, which is an upgrade uh, that will call users in a group. So we can ring uh, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 50 users in round robin or simul ring uh, in a group that is an add-on. Um, in the sales edition of our app, which I'll, I'll get to in a second, 
Uh, each user has one inbound phone number in the Sales Plus edition of the app. Uh, you can have unlimited phone numbers, and I'll show you that again in a second. Uh, so that's our widget. Lightweight, easy to use. So there's lots of options, as you would expect from an enterprise-grade application in Salesforce. Uh, we give you quite a bit of control and many, many options around the application, but it is very easy to use and very easy to control. Uh, I mentioned before, our inbound has missed call notifications, so in this particular case, you'll see there's an email that comes in uh, when there's a missed inbound call. Uh, this is a link to the voicemail. It tells you the caller that uh, the number that we called from and the number that we called to, city, state, so pretty, uh, pretty convenient. Um, we have tons of great information on fastcall.com, uh, installation guide, user's guide, uh, tons of information here you'll see uh, our outbound dialer, our inbound dialer, our base call logger, uh, totally here. Uh, and then for pricing options, it's listed here. I mentioned we do have a Sales Plus edition. That is the high end of our application. Uh, it is $480 per user per year. Um, it includes the Be Local, which is our local caller ID on the outbound call. Uh, it includes advanced inbound routing, some advanced outbound capabilities. Uh, that ability to add a, a conference call. So there's some uh, upgraded capabilities in the Sales Plus Edition. The Sales Edition uh, has the very basic inbound routing and uh, outbound uh, and does include the, uh, the option for the soft phone. And then there's a, 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 a version of the application that we call the Call Logger, um, which is just logging and scoring your call. So you're not actually connecting Twilio uh, in the base Call Logger. Uh, so we give you a couple different options for subscriptions here. Uh, the application, again, is entirely installed from the Salesforce App Exchange. It is native, so you are installing the application. Uh, you can install in a sandbox with no licensing, uh, unlimited installation in a sandbox. In production, there is a seven-day trial by default. A uh, credit card is required to install in production, but you're not charged until after the seven-day trial uh, in production. And again, in a the sandbox, there are uh, unlimited uh, an unlimited trial in a uh, in a sandbox because there's no licensing in a sandbox. Uh, so this is all here on fastcall.com. Um, we have uh, about a dozen different reports in the application. Again, because the application is native, all of our reporting is in uh, Salesforce. So. Uh, you'll be able to customize a lot of your existing reports because we are uh, appending data to your existing Salesforce task. So existing reports you have with task, you can add maybe call duration, uh, time of call, uh, some additional, some of our native data, native and or custom data to your existing reports. And then you call store to lead, to account, to contact, to an opportunity report. Uh, and call score again is giving you things like uh, some roll up data, um, on a particular record. So how many calls have I made on that record? What was the total duration of those calls? Uh, the average duration, which just gives you some sort of snapshot idea about the, the types of phone calls, the quality of phone calls you've been having. Uh, calls by user, calls by time of day. Uh, so it's all there in, uh, in your native Salesforce reports and dashboards. Okay, so again, my name is uh, Rich Rosen. I'm the founder and CEO. Um, please, if you have any questions, email us at support at uh, fastcall.com. We are a native application. We are a Salesforce partner. We are very excited to be a Salesforce partner. So your Salesforce account executive uh, is also a great resource. You definitely should uh, include your Salesforce account executive in this evaluation. They can help you uh, evaluate the applications in this category, and they can also tell you the benefits of a native application uh, and, uh, and point you towards Fastcall. Uh, but your Salesforce account executive is a great resource. So you should turn to your Salesforce account executive uh, or shoot us an email at support at fastcall.com and we will be glad to help you set up a trial. So thank you again for watching this demo. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this is our 26th major update. The app has been in the App Exchange for about two and a half years. Uh, this is our version uh, 2.5. Uh, version for August 2015. We're now currently working on our 2.6 version, which will add even more fantastic uh, features. We upgrade the app uh, usually once or twice per month and have been very aggressive with our updates. Again, we've made 26 major updates in the past uh, uh, a little over two years. So uh, I hope you have a chance to try the app and enjoy it. And if you have any questions, uh, please let us know.